House Republicans lack U.S. fiscal plan as deadline nears. Bloomberg. Bloomberg.com. Businessweek.com. Bloomberg TV. Premium. Professional products. Bloomberg Anywhere. Bloomberg Trade Book. Industry products. Bloomberg Briefs. Bloomberg Government. Bloomberg Law. Bloomberg BNA. Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Bloomberg Sports. Enterprise Products Compliance Solutions. Data Solutions. Technology Solutions. Trading Solutions. This site uses cookies. By continuing to browse the site you are agreeing to our use of cookies. X. Markup Snapshot US. Europe. Asia. Cheaper volume price price delta DJI 8 15300.60 negative 25.96 negative 0.17% SM page 501683.42 negative 5.71 negative 0.34% NASDAQ 3715.97 negative 9.04 negative 0.24%. Cheaper volume price price delta S0 XX 52861.66 negative 0.41 negative 0.01% FTSE 106577.69 negative 11.29 negative 0.17% DAX 8504.99 plus 10.99 0.13% Cheaper volume price price delta Nikkei 14404.70 plus 17.40.12% Hang Seng 22915.30 negative 38.44 negative 0.17% SM page slash AX 205219.63 negative 22.91 negative 0.44% Bloomberg Our company Professional Anywhere News. Opinion. Markup data. Personal finance. Tech. Politics. Sustainability. Luxury. TV. Video. Radio. Federal message muddled as taper meets slowing growth. 0 minutes and 47 seconds. Twitter by the numbers. 500 M tweets a day. Wildcatter Hunch Unbox $1.5 trillion oil offshore U.S. Texans in dark on Obama care as enrollment looms. Levin, Lehman's cold, dead hand grasps for money. 750. Hank Paulson, financial crisis a 100-year storm. House Republicans lack U.S. fiscal plan as deadline nears. By Oxana T. Roan, 2013-09-13-T0 for colon 00 0 colon 01Z. U.S. House Republican leaders started this week with a strategy to appease their members and win passage of a spending bill that would avoid a federal government shutdown. They ended the week without a vote, no plan in place and several days closer to the October 1st deadline when government funding expires. House members left Washington for the weekend yesterday after leaders shifted strategies in an effort to win over dissenting Republicans willing to risk the financial crisis to sidetrack President Barack Obama's health care law. Republicans said they will try to use the spending bill talks to delay the health care law instead of defunding it. Senate Democrats immediately rejected that idea. This is not the time for political stunts, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, Nevada Democrat, told reporters yesterday. Democrats will insist on a clean spending bill with outside issues, he said. The October 1st start of the fiscal year is a drop-dead date to enact a spending bill, Reid said. The House and Senate are scheduled to be in session for only five days during the rest of the month. House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, the Virginia Republican, said yesterday the chamber may cancel a planned recess the week of September 23 because of the negotiations. The U.S. also will reach its debt ceiling as early as mid-October, requiring a congressional agreement to raise the limit. Initial Strategy Cantor and House Speaker John Boehner's initial strategy would have held up a spending bill until the Senate voted on repealing the health care law. Dozens of fellow Republicans objected because the spending bill could be passed even if, as if likely, the Senate kept funding for the health law. House members then started talking about voting for postponing the health law instead of trying to defund it. Among them, Representative Mike Simpson, an Idaho Republican, said members realize that we're better off with a delay. The talks are centered on how to best delay the law, he said yesterday. Representative Trey Bowdy, the South Carolina Republican,